Hi everyone, I'm back! Uh, it's been a while since I did a video, sorry. I've been on summer excursions and such. Um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how I do my little United States map that a lot of people have asked me about. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you might know what I'm talking about. Um, but for those of you who don't, my husband and I ride bikes and we are trying to ride our bikes in every state. So as we go to each state, uh, we take a picture while we're there and I cut it out and place it on this map. Uh, I don't know how far we are right now. I'm trying to remember. 14 states? I don't know. We got a lot to go. Um, Oh, and sorry about this lighting. This is the worst room in the house, but this is where this is hung and I'm not about to take it down. And I don't have professional lighting or anything. So anyway, today I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, I've seen other tutorials online, one particularly where you actually get two maps and you use the one map as a template and you cut out the states and place it on top of the photo and then you use that as a template and then you could stick it on the other map. I didn't really want to do that. I want my, more control over my picture. Um, I want to fit it in the space better. So I decided to figure out how to do it digitally. Um, before I go on, this map is a laminated map I got on Amazon. Uh, it's not that expensive. Um, I'll put the link below, of course. And I don't know. I guess we'll get started. I, the things you might need are obviously the map, you're going to need some tracing paper, a sharpie, um, then you'll need the ability to scan into the computer, uh, and obviously a computer with some photo editing software, um, a printer, you know, a way to print what you've done, um, scissors, and an optional laminator because I like to laminate mine at the end, and double-sided tape. I think that's it. I'll put a list, of course, below of all that as well. So, let's get started. All right, I changed the angle a little bit and added some lighting. It's scary because I don't have good lighting, but it's better than it was, I guess. Um, here's the tracing paper I use. It's just Strathmore paper, but it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, so get peace out. Okay, and uh, here's my marker. I couldn't find my black one, so I'm using purple. It's just got to be pretty dark. Today I'm doing Iowa. Pretty excited about that. So I just like to hold it on. Um, you could tape it on though. It might make it a little easier. Now I'm just going to trace around it. And you don't have to have it exactly perfect because no one is really going to notice if you don't get it exactly perfect. Plus, it's got to be kind of simple for when you cut it out. At first, I tried really hard to do it perfectly and it was just pointless. Okay, um, the one thing you need to remember when doing this, make sure your lines are connected. Don't let there be a little break anywhere and you'll see why whenever we go into the photo editing program so there we go this should be good enough i hope okay so here we are um this is my very first screen capture ever so hopefully it works and hopefully i can explain myself well because i already did this once and it was too hard to follow um, so I've already scanned this in. I did it at 300 dpi and just scan it in. Um, so let me find it here and I'm going to open it in Photoshop, which I need to explain myself. This Photoshop is super old and I don't care. <laughs> um, no, I just, I, I use a super old version of it that I don't have to buy the subscription for and it works for what I need. Um, but you could totally use any program. 
uh, for editing this. As far as I know, it just needs to have a selection tool and you know be able to work with photos. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to up the contrast on this so I can make sure it selects it nicely. Um, I'm going to make another layer. I'm going to be working with layers, so I hopefully you know how to do it. If you don't, I'm sorry, I don't really know how to explain it. So I've got a layer here that I'm going to work with. I just got rid of this other layer, I'm not going to use it. Um, so make sure you're on the layer, get a the magic wand tool, and I'm going to select the inside. Um, if you don't know what the magic wand tool is, it's just like, you know, we'll magically select within lines. And that's why I needed you to make sure that all of these lines here are connected or else it would leak out and select out here. And we don't really want that. Um, so I'm going to delete the inside of the state. And I there's a teeny tiny little pixel here. So I'm going to get rid of that too. Just going to erase it. It's definitely not there now. Okay. Um, so now I need to open the file of the photo that I would like to place inside. So here's the picture. Um, I'm going to select the entire picture and copy it, which I just use the control command, but anyway, copy it. And then we're going to paste it in here. I don't even know. There it is. And as you can see, it's going with the layer, it went to the top. And what I want to do is drag this layer behind this other one. And there it is behind it. It looks okay. Um, the hard thing about these states are when you're taking the picture, you can, as you can see over here, I would like this to be more like this. And there's like a space here. So I'm going to use some Photoshop magic, which I know is not the correct way to do it. But since I learned Photoshop like 20 years ago, I don't remember how. So this is how I do it. It's, it's the easy cheaters away for dummies. I'm sure there's the content aware that you can use nowadays, but I don't know how to do that. Okay, so I select, I'm going to just select this little <laughs> piece here and make a co copy and paste and it'll make another layer. So now there's a little sliver of this right here. And I'm just going to move it over and I'm going to flip it horizontally and oh look how cute it just looks kind of natural there and then I'm going to paste another little piece of that drag it over here wow you can't even tell I mean you can tell a little bit but it's going to be this tiny little thing on this map and no one is ever going to notice that's the way I work. So I'm going, as you can see, it made three layers while doing that copy and pasting. So I'm going to select all of those layers and merge them together. So now it's just one photo. Um, the very last thing, I am going to go back to this layer uh, that I cut, cut the spot out with and reselect the inside. Now, I'm going to inverse the selection and so now instead of the inside being selected it is selected all of this oh I forgot I wanted to I'm gonna merge these two layers right here and now I have this outside selection here I'm going to delete it so now we've got a nicely little cutout state. So I guess now I'm ready to print. So I will do that and be right back. All right, so I printed these out. Um, I use this giant paper because I actually am out of my eight and a half by 11 paper, but normally I would just print this out on a eight and a half by 11 matte finished photo paper. I mean, you could use glossy if you want, but uh, that's what I use. I like the quality of it better. Um, and it doesn't really matter what brand. 
So anyway, I, I went ahead and did Illinois too because I got I had two to do at once. So now you can go ahead oops, sorry, and cut this out. I am going to leave um, a little bit of white around the edge. And I don't know, once again, you don't have to do it perfect. I tried to do it perfect before and it was impossible. And it really just doesn't matter because the border is not what people are going to look at. They are going to notice the picture on the inside. So as you can see, I have a little border there. I'm just kind of going around the edge nice and easy. And all the while, my laminator is warming up because I'm going to next laminate it. So, there we have the cutout state. I'm going to go laminate, and then we'll be done, and I can stick it on. Okay, I have laminated my pieces, and I cut them out, and it's time to stick them on. I'm literally on my tippy toes right now because I don't have the right height of a stool. Anyway. So I'll try not to <laughs> go up. I have a double-sided tape, and I'm just gonna put it on the corners here, wherever it might need stuck down. And stick it in there. And since I did Illinois as well, Oops. Yay! So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Feel free to ask me any questions you might have and I'll, I'll try to answer or suggestions or whatever. And just thanks for watching. Bye.